Hi guys, today I will show you how I sew this short kimono with this beautiful poppy print. It's very simple and suitable for beginners. So I decided to go with this natural linen fabric that I bought from Linen Dream Shop on Etsy. It's very soft and pleasant to the body. And of course I'm crazy about poppies. Here I have one and a half yards of fabric. Uh, of course, before sealing from it, I washed this fabric. And about the pattern, you can get the pattern of this kimono in PDF for free by clicking on the link in the description under this video. In general, I originally took this pattern from Madame Mukai, but we made it for myself because I wanted a certain style. I moved to the floor because the floor is the most comfortable for me to cut. Uh, I put a heavy object so the fabric does not travel on the floor much. And now I will chase the pattern on the fabric and draw seam allowances. And the seam allowances are everywhere 1 cm and on the sleeves I have 5 cm. I have already cut out the back and two fronts with all my seam allowances. And I ironed all the details before sewing. So, the first thing we will sew is the shoulder seam. We will sew with a French seam and now I will show you how I will do it. And then seam allowance of 1 cm 
I mark 7 mm with a marker. There will be the first seam. But before I made it, I decided to pin the fabric with the pins and make a basting stitch. stitch and now we can start sewing. For sewing I prefer to use a long wheel hook because it produces tight and neat stitches and it's much faster to sew than with a needle. You can remove the basting stitch. the fabric like this and mark 8 or 9 millimeters with a marker. There will be our second seam. While sewing, join the fabric away and check that the threads do not come out from the seam alone of our first seam. from the right and wrong side.
Now, the same operation must be done with the second shoulder seam. I made a second shoulder seam and ironed it on the back. Now we need to sew both side seams with the same French seam. I sew it both side seams. And now I will show you how I will sew a bias binding to the neck. Here is a bias binding I made from the rest of the fabric. With pins, I fix the first seam alongs of the bias binding from the wrong side. I fix the seam on the bias binding exactly in the center of the neck. Now along the fold line of the bias binding seam alongs, make a seam. And now, I wrap the bias binding on the right side, so that our first seam is on the side. And I wrap the second seam along of bias binding. And I fix the whole thing with the pins. from the edge I make a seam. Uh, it's advisable to make the seam in, the, in this area carefully and at the same distance from the edge because it will be visible from the right side. In general it's 
Always butter on all colors or bias bangles, make straight and neat stitches because they're near the face and are clearly visible. This is how the sound bias bending looks like and to some extent it brings completeness to the general look. with 5 cm seam allowances on both sleeves. And also at the bottom I tucked and sewed a seam allowance of 1 cm. We're done. The result is a very beautiful, really soft fabric, and I really like how it looks on me. It was very easy, just try it, you will love it and enjoy the process. And don't forget that the pattern for this kimono is in the link in the description under this video. Hope you enjoyed the process and see you in the next video. Bye!